Whatever you do, don't spill it. <laughs> the University of Kentucky's James B. Beam Institute for Kentucky Spirits is doing its part to help fight the spread of the coronavirus by making sanitizer and going a step further by creating an instructional video for distillers who want to do the same. If we can get the alcohol and blend up a mixture to make hand sanitizer that makes them protected. It's just a must do it now sort of situation. Beam Suntory donated 250 gallons of high proof ethanol and Alltech, the animal nutrition company and owner of Town Branch Distillery, donated glycerin. The Beam Institute team combined the ingredients in the proper ratios. The mixture yielded about 300 gallons of sanitizer. The multidisciplinary Beam Institute is naturally poised to do a project like this with experts in biotechnology, chemistry, and engineering already in place from across the university. We have a comprehensive university and we've got our amazing uh, colleagues over there in healthcare um, who are, who are just doing everything just, just right there in the hospital to on the front lines and we've got this whole other collection of faculty who can get together and uh, support efforts like this. Bert Lynn, a chemistry professor in the UK College of Arts and Sciences, was also part of the project. This is the FDA formulation for preparing hand sanitizer. This is going to be something that, the, uh, that you can actually work into your hands very effectively and uh, really cut down on virus transmission. Lynn said maintaining social distance in the production process was a big priority for the team, constantly checking their positions, making sure they were far enough apart. So we're trying to maintain the social distancing and still get the work done. Brad Barron, professor of chemical engineering for the UK College of Engineering, led the sanitizer formulation and worked with distilleries on FDA regulations to make sure the product was the highest quality. DeBolt said he was amazed by the cooperation of so many university and industry partners to get the project done in such a timely manner. I'm really humbled by the partnership with Beam Centauri and how very focused they were on making sure this was successful and on really short notice. By doing this we can um, produce enough hand sanitizer to have a stock that can be used in a, an emergency situation for healthcare and first responders. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.